Hey everyone, Atena, thanks for watching. Uh, today's video is all about perfumes that you can wear when you're at home by yourself. This was actually a question that a viewer asked me. She reached out and she said, what could you wear at home when you're by yourself? And actually the answer for me, and I suspect it's the same for a lot of people that love perfume. When I'm at home by myself, I can wear anything. I don't necessarily have, you know, scents that I'm just going to wear at home and scents that I'm going to wear when I go out. I think if I'm definitely by myself, I'm going to wear the screechiest, loudest, most challenging perfume just to smell it, be able to smell it without anyone commenting on it, and I'm probably going to wear way too many sprays of it so I can properly, you know, um, experience it from beginning to end and see all its different facets and qualities. And I know a lot of other people that love perfume are the same way. When they're by themselves, they're wearing the most challenging, loudest thing, and they're wearing lots rather than wearing the quietest thing, the most calming thing, the most... Um, you know, quiet thing. So I got what she meant though. I think she wanted something that would kind of set a vibe and be uh, kind of a collected, uh, tranquil kind of experience and set the mood, set the tone for herself when she's by herself at home. And I definitely have scents that can help do that, that I gravitate to when I want that. You know, not necessarily that I'm by myself, but I definitely want that kind of mood. So I have a few things, uh, different price points, different brands, and different kinds of notes that I would wear if I was by myself and I wanted um, something more calm, okay? So let's start with Gucci. This is a Winter Melody by Gucci. This is a Rose and Cypress. It's an Eau de Toilette. I think Gucci's actually calling them uh, perfume waters even though they are an alcohol it's not a water base I thought that was a little bit confusing but I think maybe something got lost in translation maybe I don't know maybe they're really trying to fool people I have no idea this is a winter melody and they have two other perfume waters as well so different notes they're not all roses definitely explore them if you are interested uh, you can see the packaging is beautiful this is lacquered glass and it's meant to have like a, a lacquered kind of finish and all the bottles in this particular collection are white they're just really really pretty look so nice and the mist is really fine so i really like to gravitate towards a fine mist if i'm going to uh, set the mood and i like to wear lots of it all over my body i'll spray the air also and i really really enjoy that experience the reason i picked this is because it's not very concentrated it doesn't last a very long time and it gives you kind of a diffused vibe rather than a concentrated amount of perfume that you're going to smell for a long 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 time it gives you just a very um soft i would say scent bubble rather than an enormous um kind of hard shell of perfume which is I'm not I'm guessing that's not what anyone wants when they're just at home by themselves I like it I like that it's not so concentrated because then I can just keep spraying more anytime I want or if I get sick of it I can spray something else or if I'm gonna go out later or have people over later I can then wear something that's more concentrated but that will have more sillage and give kind of an experience to everybody else this wears closer to the skin so I like that when it's just me that's gonna smell it I really really enjoy this when I first got this I got this about a month ago when I first got this I was wearing it every single morning and every single night and I loved it because it was just so soft and by the time lunchtime rolled around I could switch to something else and definitely if I was going to bed with this you know the next morning it would be gone and um, I just it just set the mood at the right time and I really, really love it for that. So this is definitely beautiful. I would really explore this line if that's something you're looking for. Now in the same kind of idea, Chanel has um, Les Eau de Chanel. So same concept, I think. And you know, Erin Garden Rose, that whole collection where they have the Eau de Colognes and the huge bottles, that's the same idea also. They also have a very fine atomizer, which 
is meant to help you set a nice diffused bubble of perfume and the one that I have is Paris Venise and I love this because it's citrus and um, vanilla so uh, kind of bergamot and neroli on top more neroli I would say but it's like a sparkling citrusy kind of neroli instead of being too floral and the the base is just a soft vanilla that becomes a skin scent i will spray this for you and you can see that it's also a nice diffused mist so you can spray it all over you can put it in your hair it does not last a long time and i don't think it's supposed to that's why they sell it in these huge bottles this is actually the biggest bottle they have this is a 125 i think you can also get it in a 75 ml um, this is the biggest bottle. I like that. And so same concept. I find that this one definitely lasts a long, a lot longer than this one. And I think that's because of the vanilla. The vanilla is a note that just really sticks to my skin. I can smell it for way longer. Whereas I find Rose and Cypress does not have very much longevity ever. Um, so yeah, depending on what kind of perfume you like, what kind of you know scent bubble you want to be in both of these i think are a really good option i will say that the o come in more different kinds of notes so there's like a lavender one and there is a rosy one there's more floral ones and ones that aren't as floral so definitely explore all of them and find the one that you like this one for me is more of a winter one um, that's why I had put it away I had put it back in the box because I just didn't want to wear it anymore I wore it all of January of this year and same idea I would wear it every single morning and I, I got a little sick of it but it is really really beautiful and I know that when it's really super cold outside I love wearing this again um, really close to skin like I already said and no sillage people cannot smell this on me even if i'm wearing you know six sprays nobody can ever smell it but that's perfect when i'm at home i can spray more or it's enough that i can kind of just smell it on my clothes or on my hair and then when i'm done with it or when the scent goes away i can just go on to something else kind of love that so that's my second option okay both of these are on the more expensive side so you know they're only at um, more expensive department stores especially if you're in Canada they're in Holt Renfrew or Chanel boutique and same Gucci boutique right or Holt Renfrew so more on the expensive side but totally worth it you know yeah I think they're both worth it okay my next option Joe Malone has lots of really great um, eau de colognes or just colognes that are good for setting a stage, setting a vibe, but not being overpowering. Now, what people say about Jo Malone is, oh my God, they're just colognes, they don't last and they're so expensive. I mean, this doesn't last, it's more expensive. And then same with these, like they, they it just is what it is. So if you like it, Get it if you're gonna wear it then you're gonna enjoy it right um, the one that I have that I picked out so I will say just to backtrack a little in response to them not lasting a long time it really depends on the formula it depends on what notes are in there I have Jo Malone scents where two sprays I can smell the whole entire day and then I have ones that don't last a long time and that's just the nature of the ingredients that is in them you know like the red roses one is not gonna last the whole day I feel like that rose scent is really volatile and just doesn't have longevity grapefruit same thing anything citrusy is not gonna last a long time but this is just so refreshing and I love it for that and this is uh, not my first bottle of this, I will say that, but it's just a bright sparkling grapefruit and very bitter, astringent, sour, but also very clean. It actually does kind of remind me of like lemon pledge or <laughs> some sort of lemony cleaner, but I like it for that. I like that it smells so clean because you're kind of, you know, setting the stage and you're washing everything away and I really enjoy that so 
that's a good choice. I like that one. The other one I have is Pomegranate Noir. Um, Pomegranate Noir also lasts a really long time. Longer than grapefruit for sure. But um, I would say I can smell it for about four hours and then not as much anymore. I can definitely smell this more than I can smell um, the Chanel O or the A Winter Melody by Gucci. But at the same time, it's not going to stick around the whole day. And I like to respray this so that I can smell the top notes again. So that is another one that I really like. I think um, Jo Malone also has really nice tea scents. And if you can get something that has black tea in it, I think that would be a beautiful scent to wear during the day if you're by yourself also. Okay. Uh, Roger and Gallet Vervienne. This is Vervienne Utopi. This is Extra de Cologne right there. I really like this to spray on linen. It has a vetiver base, but a really nice citrusy top. And this is just the perfect warm weather scent. I have worn this so much in the warm weather. This is not as easy to find. I know it was in um, the Bay and other department stores for a while, and I'm not sure if it is anymore, but definitely see if you can find this online. I've seen it online a lot, so you should be able to find this quite easily. Again, because it's an extra to cologne, it doesn't last a very long time, but it makes for a beautiful mood setter. I really like spraying it on sheets and linen and just kind of um, having that in the environment. It does last a really long time if you spray it on your pillow and it is just a really nice, clean, fresh um, summer perfume. So I really, really like that. And then the last one I have is Katy Perry Indie, which is in a completely different direction. I bought this online for $20 and uh, you can definitely get a larger bottle. I, I saw a bottle that was quite large and it was $30. So get that if you can this is a woodsy scent it's a synthetic woods so um you'll recognize that synthetic cedar note that's in so many other perfumes and it's warm it's just so easy to wear again it has almost no lasting power almost no lasting power it's kind of here and then it's gone but just really pretty for having throughout the day and um, enjoying. And because it's so cheap, you can just keep respraying it and not have to worry about how much you've spent on it, which you might not feel the same way if you've spent, you know, $200 on a Chanel O or on one of the Gucci toilet waters. My last pick is something from Diptyque. I would really love a uh, Philosikos, which I don't have here. I've lent my bottle to somebody else. That one is a creamy fig. It's really milky and it has a cedar base and it again has a really fine mist, really easy to spray. And I really, really enjoy that for just having my own scent bubble for just myself. So those are my picks. I hope you enjoyed that and I'd love to know what you like to wear that's kind of in that same theme. And thanks for watching.